Hello to everyone. My name is Shavi Zayn. I'm glad that you all can join me at this time. Um, so this message that I'm doing tonight is uh, a little different because I've been called and I feel led to come forward and to speak in regards to the witches, the warlocks, those who have chosen to operate in darkness, those who have chosen to work against the chosen seed as well as the 144,000, those who have chosen to work against the will of the Most High God, who have decided to use materialism and to use wickedness for their own gain, to try to avoid their karma by sacrificing people and by using dark magic, spell work, who have placed generational curses over the chosen seed for generations after generations in order to try to work alongside lower level entities who wanted to maintain a crooked and criminal structure. I want to address all of these things so that everyone who joins me at this time, if you feel led or drawn to listen to this message, I'm hoping that you will be able to receive something from this because it's time that we address what is happening here. I want for you all um, to go and look on my other channel, Shavi Zane, the spiritual counselor. I had a dream about a month ago and I named the video when the clock strikes 12 and I also have another one called Game Over. I've been receiving messages within the past couple of months that have made it very clear to me, it's very apparent to me that the current structure of the, of the wickedness of Babylon okay it's coming down okay it is being destroyed in a spiritual realm the spiritual warfare has already been won now what is happening is the enemy is trying to work on 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 a physical level to try to scare to try to incite fear into the chosen seeds who are now stepping up into our divinity and in our power and speaking out bringing the truth forward okay my particular calling as a chosen seed has been to reveal to shine light on dark areas okay and to bring the truth to the masses so that you're aware now to help awaken you so that you're able to see what this structure has been all about what has been hidden what has been lurking in the darkness what have they what are those skeletons that they have tried to hide and that they have tried to mask and cloak with these uh titles pretending that they are upright citizens or that they are upright people who have society's best interests at heart when in fact they are they have been doing this for generations after generations against uh, especially melanated people, okay? But they have been doing this for multiple generations, okay, in order to gain wealth, in order to gain power, and in order to maintain that wealth and power by using fear, by inciting fear on the masses, and by using your ignorance against you. It's time, I've been telling you all within my past uh, videos, especially underneath my investigative work, I've been using that... Um, that platform to be able to try to give you all tidbits of what's been happening behind the scenes in the spiritual realm. Much of these things that's been going on has been revealed to me and it's been made very clear to me what has been happening out here. And so I want to go ahead and I want to get into it. The witches and the warlocks, those people who have, especially those who proclaim themselves to be that, but also understand that you do not have to call yourself a witch or a warlock to actually be working in that type of energy, okay? If you are putting out the energy of speaking negative things over other people's lives who are just living their life, they're not doing anything to you, but out of jealousy, out of envy, out of anger, out of bitterness, you're saying things against them, you're speaking things against them. Uh, and, and hoping for negative things to happen to them, then yes, energetically, you have been placing curses over those people's lives. That's how generational curses continue, okay? By people who have uh, bitter souls, bitter spirits, okay, who come here with the agenda. They may not realize it at the forefront, but at this point, everyone understands what side they have chosen. Everyone understands if you have chosen the side of lightness, where you have chosen the side of the Most High God, and you have chosen the side of love, or if you have chosen the side of darkness, the side of the lower level entities, demonic entities, in order to so-called gain your power. Understand, every last one of those people who have gained Physical power in the material world has now, they're losing it at this very moment. In the spiritual realm, they no longer have any power because the chosen seeds have awakened. And as you can see in my title, it says that the chosen seeds have awakened. Once the chosen seeds, once we woke up from sleep and recognized the power that has been engraved into our DNA, past the DNA, into our spirits and into our souls, 
the entire structure got shake, it got shooken up, okay? The entire structure had to come down. Okay, that tower took place over this whole this uh this this structure called Babylon, okay? And so understand that there is some consequences that's coming in for these people who have operated in demonic energy, these witches, these warlocks, and those who have continued to try and do sacrifices or have done sacrifices against the chosen seed. Um so let's see. Past lives. Understand that many of the people that have surrounded you, especially if you understand that you are a chosen seed or that if you have awakened to the fact that you are a part of the 144,000, and let me explain so that you all understand what I'm saying when I say chosen seed and 144,000. Yes, the 144,000 are chosen. However, they are a part of the body. And outside of that, I always reference the 144,000 as being the heart of the body, okay? And the body needs the heart to pump in order for everything else to work. And so the 144,000 are the ones that come in and brings the strength that actually pushes the, the, the blood, okay? Gets things moving, gets things flowing, okay? And gets the body awakened. It awakens the body because if a heart stops beating, the body is asleep. It's gone, okay? But once the heart starts beating again, then other things begin to awaken. And so you have the 144,000 who is the heart of the body of the Most High God. And then you have the chosen seeds who are who have various different um, roles, okay? Whether you are, you know, if we're looking at it as an analogy of a body, whether you are the foot and you help us to stand strong, whether you are the brain and you are the thinker, whether you are the hands and you are the doers, whether you are, you know, uh, the, the liver and you, you cleanse things, whatever your purpose is in the body as a chosen seed. If you was guided to this video, then you are likely a chosen seed or you might be one of those witches or warlocks or one of those darker entities that I am addressing at this time to let you know that your time is up. It's up. Okay, so the first card we had coming out is past lives. What did I say? Your time is up. This is an hourglass. So these people have reincarnated from generation after generation after generation. But as you can see, there was a lot of darkness that was around these people who was operating from these, you know, working with these lower level entities to bring generational curses over the chosen and to try and avoid their karma, to try to avoid their karma. Okay, by causing uh, traumas, chaos, upheaval, spell work, all types of things they've done to the chosen and the 144,000 for generations. They've done this to our ancestors. Okay, and so understand these people, they have awakened to the fact that they are your karmic family, they are your karmic friends, they are your karmic ex lovers, they are karmic uh, governmental structures. Um, karmic doctors, lawyers, you know, all of these people, they have these titles in the physical, but on a spiritual level, they are very wicked, okay? And so at this point, these people are having to go through the karmics, those witches and warlocks are now exhausted because your little robot structure, their robot structure that was inauthentic is now broken down, is no longer working. Okay, and this man here, he looks dead. He looks lifeless because they are walking zombies. Okay, they have no life in them. They don't understand life. They don't understand their souls have been tormented and tortured. And now these people, their timing is up. Okay, they're getting ready to be a thing of the past. For many of them, they're getting ready to lose their minds. Okay, you have schizophrenia here. They're getting ready to lose their minds. The, the entire structure that they created and built within themselves as well as around themselves by being so overly focused on materialism because that's all you see here is inauthentic things. Nothing about this deals with nature. Nothing about this deals with authenticity, okay? They, was, they became so corrupted in doing this for so many generations that now the Most High said their timing is up. I remind you all again, we are in the age of Aquarius, the time of awakening where people seek and they find answers. We are in the time of revelations, the time of the reveal, where nothing can be hidden. And so now these people, they're losing their minds here. 
They're going through mental uh, disruption, okay? They're in this energy of isolation. Why? Because now they're starting to have to face they was able to build up this inauthentic wall around themselves to make themselves believe that they was tough, to make themselves believe that they was impenetrable. But at the end of the day, now that iciness that they have used to so-called protect themselves, they're now starting to see. And many of them are in mourning. Many of them are in mourning because there's nothing else that they can do. They know that the time is up, okay? There's no more success for these people who have operated in darkness, okay? And just last night, see, celebration is in the in the reverse at the bottom of the deck, okay? There is no more celebrating, okay? These people will come together. They will do rituals. They will do all types of stuff, dark magic. And they did this against people because for so long, understand this, the public has been showing the world for a very long time that magic and um, using working with the elements and these types of things, they do exist, there's a dark side and there's a light side to everything, okay? The chosen seed, the 144,000, we have a natural gift that is engraved within us from before we was born, okay? The Most High, because we are a part of the Most High, we always have possessed these gifts, but they were put asleep. Why was they put asleep? Because the heart was asleep. The 144,000 was asleep. And so now that we have awakened, so have our gifts. And understand, when you think about the Bible text, for it, for instance, now much of the Bible has been altered. Many of the verses in there have been removed. It's been so many things that have happened to that Bible that you can't say that everything in there is 100% factual. But what I will say is that even according to the similitudes, there's many things that are told to the masses in regards to um, what some might even see as being witchcraft, right? The Most High, um, well, let me just say this. When, when Christ did certain miracles, right, people saw it as being miracles and they accused him of being a witch. They accused him of being a sorcerer because the types of things that he was able to do was outside of the norm, okay? And most of the general public had not seen that before. And the only thing that they could compare it to was that of dark magic, that of what people was doing when they would conjure up lower level entities. But because what he was doing was actually casting out these dark entities using the gifts that the Most High had naturally given him, the, the enemy, the wicked one, those who practiced in darkness, they was intimidated by that. They was intimidated by his light and the fact that he could come in and cast out darkness. And so by him casting out darkness, that directly affected those scribes and Pharisees who at the forefront in the public said they was upright. They said that they was uh, religious. They said that they was God-fearing. But behind closed doors, they was the ones that was operating and working with demons, working with lower level uh, entities in order to gain their power over the people, over the minds of people, and over material wealth. And so when Christ came on the scene, the ascended master Christ, who was also the son of the Most High God, just as we are the chosen seed, the 144,000, we are the sons and the daughters of the Most High God, right? Christ came in and he started showing them, well, you don't need to work with the, with the devil in order to be able to do these things because when you have the natural gift from the Most High God, when you recognize who you are and the power that you possess, there's nothing greater. OK, and so these people got intimidated and spitting in the fact that he came and he told the masses greater works than me shall ye do. So if you can do greater works than, the, than Christ and everybody was in awe thinking that what he was doing was something that no man could ever achieve. He said it. He made it clear. Greater works than me shall ye do. So understand, we possess strong, powerful gifts once we awaken to who we are, once we have that divine connection to the Most High God. But see, these people, they did this for generations. Way back before Christ, they was doing this, okay? Generational curses after generation after generation after generation. But as you can see, the hourglass is here. The time is up. The clock has already struck 12. There is no time to turn back now. And in that dream, if you go back and look at that, um, that dream that I, I spoke about, a dream that I had about the clock strikes 12, that's the name of the video, like I said, on Shabby Zane, uh, the spiritual counselor is my other page, okay? has a very small audience, but the Most High established it this way, okay? And so this is why I'm bringing it to both pages so that those who need to receive this message will receive it because it's time for the truth to be revealed, okay? In that dream, there was many people that was climbing a hill, 
okay? They was going up this hill to go to this doctor at the top of this very steep hill. And all of these people had done all of this plastic surgery to their bodies and to their faces. And they had done all of these things that was inauthentic to them, to their physical vessels. And they was climbing this hill and climbing this hill. And once they got up that hill, they was hoping that the doctor that was in that place, every last person was going in there to try to reverse these surgeries that they had done to themselves. They was trying to reverse the damage that they had done to themselves. But as I said in the in the in the other video, these people did not recognize the fact that the healing had to take place on a much deeper level. And so they was already out of time. They they had been so conditioned to believing that everything is all about materialism. Everything is all about the exterior of a person, the vessel, and nothing about the interior, the heart, the core, the spirit, the soul. They had been they forgot about that part because the see they was tricked. They was tricked by demons. They was tricked by lower level entities that told them uh, you can have all the power you want. You can have all the money that you want. You can have all of the fame that you want if you just give me your soul. And what they fail to realize is that the soul is the core. It is the essence. It is the direct connection to the Most High. And without that, you are nothing. Without that, you are lifeless. Just like this man right here in this picture. You are lifeless, okay? And you, the only thing that you can operate from is through materialism, is through things that are inauthentic to yourself. So these people was climbing this hill and they was going up there. All of them had sorrow. Many of them that came out, even though they went in there and did these surgeries to try to reverse things, the surgery couldn't even work. You know, they would have to go back several times to even get back to their, uh, to their nature physically, but the, there was no way to really reverse it. Because they was working on trying to cure themselves on the surface, not realizing that the true cure was internal and that the life lessons that they was going to have to go through, they can't avoid it. OK, and so this is what's happening right now. These people are losing their minds. They're grieving. OK, this is what's happening right now. There's no more celebration for these people. There's no more celebration for these people because of what they have done against us. OK, and so now the truth is beginning to come out. The truth is being revealed, okay? Um, yeah, look at this, the creator. I was just telling you all about the soul, the soul of a man. They did not understand the light. Everything about these people was about darkness. Everything about these people was about inauthentic uh, materialism, okay? They thought that this put them in a, in a high position. They thought that they sat above the world. They was they, For a while, they was able to celebrate watching the chosen seed struggle, uh, beneath their so-called power, okay? But now there's no more celebration. There's only mourning. There's only rain, okay? Because now these people have to deal with the karma. They have to deal with the dark magic. They have to deal with the demons and the lower level entities that they conjured up against the chosen and the 144,000 to try to diminish us. OK, to sacrifice us for their own gain, to feed the beast, to feed the beast of a crooked structure. Every last one of them. Please understand this is the time now. The time of judgment is here now. And I got a lot of people. I'm not going to say a lot of people because the majority of you support me. And, I, you know, I appreciate that. I give thanks for all of you who actually encourage me and who, who put encouraging words up underneath my videos. But as I told you all before, my true reward comes from the Most High God because he sees and he knows the core of my soul. He knows my heart. And when I give praise to him and when I give gratitude to him on a daily basis, when I wake up before I go to sleep all throughout the day, I recognize that I'm walking in my purpose. And I recognize that everything, every stumbling block that was tried, that, that, was, that was sent, that, these, uh, that, that my enemy tried to send my way into towards my children and towards uh, my purpose, it cannot and it will not stand. You see what I'm saying? He's already told me. He's already given me. Uh, he's verified it to me time and time again. He surrounded me with a great spiritual team of holy angels, my ancestors of love and light. I always give reverence to Yeshua because he is my, he is, he is my brother, okay? Yeshua is a son of the Most High God and I'm a daughter of the Most High God. And he has imparted within me much wisdom, okay? Whether you believe in it or not, it's not it's not up to me to convince you of what is true. But it is up to me as a vessel to come forward and to speak my truth. I'm here authentic in my nature, in my purpose. OK, moving forward confidently in who the Most High has created me to be. And I'm here to tell you that for those people who chose to work in darkness, they that darkness, they sold their souls. OK. They sold their souls. Don't you understand that this is what allows you to be the co-creator of your life? This divine connection to the most high God, the creator of all things. 
Once you have that divine connection to the Most High God, there's so many things that he will bless you with. But these people, they chose to work in darkness because they did not want to heal. They came through lifetime after lifetime after lifetime trying to avoid judgment, trying to avoid karmic debt. And they did that on the heads of other people, on the heads of the chosen seed in order to maintain a false, false structure, a corrupt structure that is now done. This robotic structure turned them into robots. This robotic structure turned them into zombies. And now they have to deal with the fact that they are soulless people walking around here without a pot to piss in and a window to throw it out. Because I'm talking, I'm telling y'all, when, when the Most High is showing it to me, I'm seeing these people go through poverty. I'm seeing these people go through mental illness. We got schizophrenia coming out here. I'm seeing these people go through uh, physical illness, okay? Physical illness, okay? Grieving. Okay, no more days of celebration. No more days of celebration. This is in the reverse. These this time for them is up. Okay, and this is it's not even the fact that because when I pray, you know, I used to be the type of person when I would pray, it was all about all right, we're gonna establish righteous judgment. And I still put that out there because I know that the most high is here to do it. He said that this is the time right now. It's been given to me, the confirmation has been given to me that now is the time of judgment for these people. But now I pray that love is now the dominant energy even in the wicked one even in the hearts even even in the hearts of those who have operated in wickedness that love is now the dominant energy that surrounds us because love heals all things love balances out all things you see what I'm saying? Love overpowers hate any day. Love is more powerful and stronger than hate any day. Why? Because the most high is love. If he was not love, he would not have created us. Understand this, okay? And those of you who have awakened and who have, who have a divine connection to the most high God, you know what I'm talking about. You know that feeling that you feel. I, I know what I feel personally. When, I, when I'm connecting with the Most High, I never lose my connection because he is within me. He is around me. He is, I am the Most High. Okay, I am a part of the Most High. Yes, I do see myself as being a part of the greater whole of the all. Okay? This thing is so much bigger than us. There's so many layers and so many depths to this thing that has been hidden. You know, the, the enemy placed a veil over the eyes of the chosen for so many generations. And he handed to us a watered down version of what power looked like. Actually, he handed to us fear. That's what he handed to us. If you, if you step outside of this boundary, if you go seeking answers, you're going to go to hell. That's what your pastor told you. You ask any questions, you, you know, you don't question God. That's, that's what he told you. Or you will go to hell, right? It would be considered blasphemy. Many people, you know, look at what I do and say, well, that, that's, that's witchcraft. No, 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 honey. This is all about using visual tools. These are visual tools to pick up on energy because most people at this day and age, see, the Most High is doing something new. Don't ever get it twisted. The Most High can take anything or anyone and use it as a, as a, as a means to bring his message forward, okay? He's doing something new now in the age of Aquarius in the time of the reveal, in the time of revelations, OK, we are now working with energy. We are now beginning to awaken and to see that energy is real, that everything has a spiritual aspect and a spiritual nature to it. The problem was in, in the church structure, people was not able to see. They was not able to pierce through the veil. They was not able to see through um, on a spiritual level. Most people was not able to gain that understanding because they was they was only touching the surface of who the most high is and who the most high has created us to be. But now, because we have awakened, now this is the time of a massive awakening, higher consciousness, recognizing that we have a higher consciousness, we have a lower consciousness, we have a higher self and a lower self. There's so many different facets to us because we're multidimensional, because we're spirits having a human experience. This thing runs deep. And see, the only way that you can actually gain answers is by asking for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. When I first stepped into my spiritual journey, I didn't step in from a space of materialism. And this is why so many people got lost in their spiritual journeys and ended up going towards witchcraft, ended up going towards dark magic and doing things that was directly against the Most High God. Because when they stepped in, what they wanted to manifest was wealth. And they would do it by any means necessary. But the problem with that is when you gain wealth or when you gain things through lower level entities, you end up being put, you place yourself in a position where you have to pay it back. 
And so these people end up doing things. They have to do it over and over again, repeatedly. And every time it gets darker and it gets darker and it creates the snowball effect of darkness until finally they get to the point where they have to go and sacrifice a whole nother being in order to give themselves more time. But now, now, in the time of revelations, in the time of reveal, in the time of judgment, it can't stand. It will not stand. The Most High God said, touch not my anointed ones. We have awakened. The body is alive. Okay? The body is alive. We know who we are. Okay? We are no longer dependent on these energies, these people who tried to battle us, who tried to fight against us to try to keep us from finding out who we was and stepping into our divinity. We created that we, we, be, we begin to connect with nature again. We begin to connect with our higher selves again. We receive the messages. I receive messages all the time. Animal, you know, animals that fly around me, birds that fly around me. I always take note. I always listen. Now these people that was fighting against you, they're now sitting in this energy of being very discontent. They're now sitting in this energy of being very discontent and unhappy with life while they have to watch you receive your overflow of blessings. Your harvest is plentiful. You planted many good seeds, okay? The chosen seed have planted many good seeds and it took us a long time to get here. Why? Because we had these opposing forces. We had these people, a past life, karma karmic family members that came in, karmic friends, karmic lovers, karmic governmental structures that came in to try to block us from becoming and stepping into our divinity and knowing who we are. But now we are here. And all of those people that have tried to fight up against us are now fighting against each other. And this is one of the another reason why the structure is coming down. Because they're no longer working with each other. They're working against each other now. The energy is so chaotic in the spiritual realm for these people as well as in the physical realm that they are now literally fighting against one another. And they're sitting back very bored and very discontent and very unhappy. They're pouting like little babies with their legs and arms crossed because they have to watch you receive your blessings. They have to watch you. The Most High said, I will, I will make a table. I will bless you with a table in front of your enemies, okay? I prepare for table before you in the presence of your enemies. I anointed your head with oil. Your cup runneth over. That's what's happening for us. We're having an overflow of blessings, so much so that we can feed our children. We can feed their children too, too if we chose to. We have an overflow of blessings that the Most High is blessing us with because we did the work. We healed. And we decided that we was not going to allow this energy, this energy to bring us down. These people was given the offer. The Most High gave them the offer. He gave them the offer to turn around and to turn away from their wicked ways and to do the right thing and to heal. He gave them the offer, but they turned their back from it. They wanted to continue to do things their own way. They wanted to be stubborn in their energy, thinking that working with lower level entities was going to actually give them a leg up. For a time it did, but it's only because we were sleeping. This heart is pumping now. The body has awakened. We have reawakened to who we are. And there's nothing they can do about it. They can't stop it. And this is why they're so upset about it. Our cup runneth over. The Most High has blessed us. Okay? And he said, now is the time for me to allow the manna to reign. You see what I'm saying? We got the high priestess here and we got the emperor. You are highly intuitive. And a new foundation is being in, in, um. Is, is being created at this time. The emperor creates foundations. The emperor is the, is, the, uh, is the king. He is the emperor of his empire. We are creating a new structure here, okay? We are taking action forward here. We know who we are. We sit on our thrones because the Most High has given us authority to do so. And we listen to our intuition. We receive those messages in the spiritual realm. We know the secrets of the universe. We know all of these things. We understand our connection, our divine connection to the Most High and all things that exist around us within the universe, outside of the universe, inside of, you know, you know in terms of the world uh, and everything that exists. We understand this on a very high level. And now these people, because they didn't take the offer, the Most High tried to give them the offer of understanding and to do this thing the right way to just, okay, what you need to do is heal. And as you continue to heal, I will continue to bless you. I will continue to lift you up. I will continue to, uh, you know, uh, uh, open up your spiritual gifts. But these people said, no, I don't feel like healing. I don't want to do that God stuff. I don't want to do that, you know, that, 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 uh, that holy stuff. 
what, what's the Holy Spirit? No, no. What I'm going to do is I'm going to conjure up some lower level entities. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to create stumbling blocks for her so that I can try to steal her energy or try to steal his energy or try to sacrifice this person or that person in order to gain my wealth and to gain my materialism and to gain my power. But what you under, you didn't understand, apparently you did not understand because if you understood energy, if you understood what you was working with, if you had any knowledge of what you was doing, you would have understood that eventually karma plays itself out. What you put out there energetically always has to come back to you. It's a boomerang effect. You put good out there, you receive good back. The, the, the chosen, the 144,000 have been doing that. You put negativity out there, chaos, drama, this is what you receive back. This is what you receive back. That whole entire structure, all of that materialism, all that gain that you got surrounding you, now it's just nothing but mess surrounding you. Now you're just sitting in a bunch of shit that you can't do nothing with because your soul has now been depleted. Y'all got some karmic lessons that's coming in, okay? I'm talking about those people who have continued, who have chosen to operate in darkness because it is a choice. We all have free will. That's the beauty of the Most High God. He gives us free will. You could take this path or you could take that path. But just know that each path, there is a destination. And when you get to that destination, what the path that you took is going to determine, the, the walk that you took as you reach that destination is going to determine exactly how it's going to play out for you on the other side of that thing. We have now entered into the other side, okay? We have now entered into the other side. A lot of people are in trouble, okay? We're now taking action towards putting in work. We're putting in work now to move towards our destiny, to move towards the gifts that the Most High has given us, okay? We're now focused, okay? Many of the chosen seed, we're now focused on building a new structure. We're taking action now. This is unstoppable forward movement, okay? We are perfecting our gifts. We are perfecting our craft, and we're not focused on those things that's happening around us. We're focused in on our purpose because we know that we have been placed in this position to create a new structure, a new kingdom here, okay? And so you got people that's very angry that want to come in. But look at what's happening here. Look at what's happening here. They're angry because, like I told you, these people had been left out in the cold. These people was given the opportunity to take the opportunity to do the right thing. When the Most High God said, stop messing with my children. Touch not my anointed ones. Stop trying to do this dark magic on them. Stop trying. Stop doing this spell work. Stop trying to cause mental illness. Stop trying to cause physical illness for these people. Stop trying to create uh, stumbling blocks in terms of their finances. Stop causing uh, disruption in terms of their relationships. These people was doing everything against the chosen. And y'all know it because you, you had to deal with it. You suffered through it, but you, you was able to survive through it. That's what we do. We survive through things and we became stronger. OK, the heart begin to awaken all of that pressure, all of that pressure. When you think about a body, when somebody dies and you have to do CPR, what you got to do? You got to pump hard. You got to put in a lot of effort and a lot of pressure in order to get that body to awaken. And that's what these people was doing. They thought they was doing something against us. That's because they was given a few generations. OK, generational curses. They was given a few generations to operate in their wickedness. But now how many generations after how many lives do you think they're going to have to struggle and suffer at this point? It doesn't just end here. That's if the Most High even gives them the opportunity to exist after this. But just know that this is the energy. This is the energy that they are moving into. They think they're trying to come towards you. They think they're trying to rush towards you to try to stop you from your forward movement, to try to stop you from shining, to try to stop you from reaping the harvest of, of those things that you rightfully earned. They're angry about it. But see, this is what's happening for these people. Sickness, illness accidents, poverty, they're left out in the cold, okay? Look at this, loneliness, exiled from the kingdom, okay? Because they got to watch you as the empress and the emperor, okay? Divine partnerships are coming together. Please understand this. Divine connections are coming together because the Most High said, touch not my anointed ones. I prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. Now we get to create the structure. We get to create the new empire, Masculine and feminine energies coming together to create balance throughout the universe, energetically, physically, okay, in all ways, all right? Everything has a masculine and feminine component. And so in the physical, as vessels, 
we come together. The 144,000, when you break that down, that's 72,000 males, 72,000 females. And like I said, we have all of the chosen who are also different parts of the, enti of the, of the body, of the structure. So understand these partnerships, these divine connections are coming together. And so there's people, there's, there's very uh, angry and disgruntled spirits because they're being left out in the cold now. They're having to go, you know, it's like the blind leading the blind now, okay? This is what they're having to deal with. They have to watch you be lifted up before your enemies because now they have no more fight in them. There's nothing else for them to do except deal with the karma that they have called to themselves. Because again, the Most High gave them the opportunity to choose differently. They chose the path. Okay, they chose the path. The clock, the clock has already struck 12. The Most High has spoken. Judgment Day is here for these people. So they have to watch you. Look at this. They got to watch you. This new beginning that's happening for us. They have to watch you from below. They have to watch you move into this new cycle because you listen to your intuition. You maintained that connection to the Most High. And using your intuition, you was able to close out these cycles with these people that tried to take your life. They wanted to sacrifice you. They wanted to take your life. But the Most High said, I'm protecting you. I'm guiding you. Don't worry about it. These, this thing, this cycle is getting ready to come to an end. I'm placing the devil at your feet. I'm placing the devil and all of those snakes, they at your feet now. I'm, I'm lifting you up. I'm lifting you up and all of your angels, they're surrounding you and they're going to be there praising with you. We're going to all going to praise and dance and celebrate together, okay? Because we know who we are. And these people are now having to deal every knife, every time they stabbed you in the back, every time they tried to bring you to your lowest point, the Most High said, no, I'm giving you a new opportunity. I'm giving you a new, a new zeal for life, a new passion for life. I'm blessing you with a new gift, okay? The Ace of Wands deals with new passion, new exciting offers, okay? With the Wheel of Fortune here, it was destined for this to come to, come to pass. You are moving into financial abundance. And all of these people that try to gain material wealth off of, off of your pain, they are now, their pockets are emptying out every single day. Every single day they are losing now because these people was able to gain generational wealth for a time. The wicked ones, the wicked structure, oh, they made they made billions and billions, trillions of dollars off of the backs of keeping the chosen and the 144,000 asleep and operating and feeding the energetic structure of this uh, crooked system. But now all of that has to be paid back. Everything that they took from us has to be given back to us plus some, plus more, okay? There's nothing that they can really do uh, materially to pay back what they have done. They can't come and offer us a bunch of money and say, okay, well, we paid our debt, so now we get to go and live. No, 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 no. Your debt goes much deeper on a soul, on a spiritual, if you still got a soul, on a spiritual level, it goes much deeper, okay? The debt that you have to pay back is going to, whoo, it's going to be a lot of healing that they're going to have to do. And it's going to take many, many lifetimes for them to do it. They made their choice. They made their choice. Justice is here. The Ten of Cups is here. The Most High said, I am the judge of all judges. I sit high on my throne. I create true justice, true balance based on what is true. Based on what is true. Based on those who operate from a space of integrity. Those who honor who I am. Those who honor their, their purpose and the gift of life that I have given them. Those who have uh, you know, gone through the trenches and gone through the storm without turning from me. They, you, my children did not take the bribe of, the, of, of Satan. They didn't take the bribe when he took, when he took Christ up on, on the mountain, okay, and said, uh, and said, bow down and worship me and I will give you all of this. These people, they took that bribe. They took that bribe. But see, we are the body. We are Christ consciousness. And in Christ consciousness, we operate just as Christ did. No, we're not taking any bribes here. We take no bribes because we understand that the true blessings that comes to us comes from the most high God. We're talking about the, 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 the one who created all things, including the lower level demonic entities that think that they had some power. So when, when, you, when you focus and you put your attention and you put your faith and your trust and your knowing into the most high God, and you know that that's your father, first of all, that's my, that's my father. And as my father, 
He gives me everything. There's nothing that he that he wouldn't give me. There's nothing that he would withhold from me. Now, for a time, it was held back only because I had to heal, only because I still had some awakening to do. Because the Most High said, okay, when I prepare your table before you, you got to be ready for this. You got to be ready for these blessings and these gifts that I'm getting ready to pour into your life. Why? Because he was establishing a new kingdom through me and through you and through all of the chosen seeds who are, who are awakening at this point. We had to be in that space of uh, being humble, okay, in our spirit. We had to die to our ego. We had to die to any materialism because we was fed by the beast for so long. We was feeding the beast, okay, but we was also, hey, we had that cord to the beast for so long because we did not know who we was. We didn't know who we was, and so in that, in that energy, we was in survival mode. We was all about maintaining materialism. You know, keeping jobs or career career paths all for the sake of maintaining the dollar, maintaining certain bills and, and being able to put up a certain facade for the world. But now, because we know who we are, we know that there is no such thing as lack. I'm a child of the most high God. There's no such thing as lack. He provides me with everything. A blade of grass doesn't have to wake up tomorrow and decide, well, what am I going to eat? When am I going to receive some rain? How am I going to be nourished? No. Because the Most High has it established, it's already written how that blade of grass is going to live and how it's going to be fed. If the flowers don't spin a toil, if the birds and the bees don't worry about tomorrow, then you know good and doggone well. I, as a chosen seed of the Most High God, as a body of the 144,000, I understand that I'm well taken care of. Y'all got to know about me, you know, I worked as a registered nurse for five years. And in my awakening, I began to understand that my path was so much different. I began, first of all, to see the darkness of the medical industry and how it's all about the money, how they use these chemicals just to keep you sick, to keep you dependent and codependent on the structure. They make billions and billions of dollars off of the off of sick people, not knowing that, you know, many of these drugs that they push, they'll tell you, oh, well, it has a little it got a little uh, 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 it has some herbs in it from nature. You know, they'll try to put something on a bottle to make you think there's something natural about it. They trick the mind. They trick you into thinking that you need a chemical that was made in a lab before you need something that was made straight directly from the earth. There's thousands, if not millions of herbs that exist out here that the Most High has created specifically for us to heal our bodies. That will heal us a thousand times faster. And make us a thousand times stronger than any chemical that the body rejects that's made by man. Especially a man who operates from wickedness, who's all about materialism. But because our minds were so conditioned into believing that these things, that, that nature was something that we had to reject. And we had to accept that of man. We was, everything was backwards. Everything was in opposition to what the Most High had created. Everything was in opposition to nature. OK, I'm, I'm I'm imploring for you all at this time to check out if, if you if you find yourself because I just heard I need to tell you this. If you find yourself too engulfed in the media, too engulfed in the news, certain TV shows, certain music, it's time to tune out and then tune in. Because if you have not been able to see these things and gain these answers of the, of the spiritual nature of things and understanding the mysteries of the universe and all of those uh, secrets that have been locked away, okay, that have been locked away, then it's time for you to tune out and tune in because the answers that you need will be given to you. Seek and you shall find. Ask and it shall be given unto you. I believe it might have been Daniel who prayed for the gift of wisdom. And that's what I was saying when I first got into my spiritual journey. That is what I prayed for. I prayed for wisdom. I pray for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding because that to me is much more valuable than anything that I can receive in the material realm because it's something that I can take with me. It is something that I can expand on. It is something I can grow into even in the spiritual realm when this vessel is gone. I can hand it down to my children and they can pass it down for generations after generations and I can, you know, speak it to the world and it will affect and influence many. Materialism, material things, they, they, they disintegrate. But wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is expansive, okay, and it's powerful. And so this is what I ask for, and that's what I'm, I'm, I'm telling you to ask for that. Speak to the Most High about it. Speak to your holy angels and your spiritual team that he has surrounded you with so that you can gain the answers that you need. 
so that you can see this thing from a higher perspective because see this is what it's all about strength is here okay this is what's going to empower you wisdom knowledge and understanding is powerful what's up there above her head is the infinity sign the infinity sign is infinite wisdom it's that infinite connection to the most high god right above her crown chakra you see what i'm saying this is what allows you to tame the beast and to do it gracefully you don't have to exert a bunch of pressure because see the beast that's what he had to do against the chosen I told you he had to push that, put that pressure on us, but all he did was awaken us. He awakened the beast, okay? He awakened the lion that exists within us. But when we tame the beast, we tame it. We, we don't have to do much. We don't have to do much. We tame it gently with our wisdom and our knowledge and our understanding. And he has no choice but, he has no choice but to, uh, to, to pretty much bow down, okay? He has no choice but to submit because the Most High said, I have blessed you with understanding. You have a direct connection, a divine connection to me. And so whatever beast comes your way, I have given you the strength to overpower it. I've given you the strength to overcome it. Okay? Your enemies are in trouble. Your enemies are in trouble. Um, and they need to understand this. You all had a choice. You had a choice for those of you that might be watching me at this time. Because like I told you all, yeah, they're losing money. They are losing money and they are mentally trapped. There's nowhere that they can go. They're getting ready to be in a lot of poverty, okay? These people have done a lot of illegal things for money. Look at this. Look at that, y'all. The tower's there. This is not a game. The entire structure of the enemy is coming down now. Because these people chose to operate from wickedness. They chose to build that tower of Babylon to try to confuse people. And for a time, it worked. But because there was so much darkness and so much, so many secrets that was behind these walls, you see it's only one window right there. And that one window that's there, their asses is falling out of it. Okay? Their asses is falling out of it because the Most High God said, I'm going to come in and I'm going to strike this entire thing down. They thought that they had built up a royal empire. You see that crown up there? It was all false. They had tricked, they had even fooled themselves. They allowed the, the, the lower level entities to even trick them into believing that they was actually creating an empire for themselves. And now they're coming down. This tower is here because it was built on a false structure. There was no strength behind this structure. The strength that we have because of the empire, the empire that we are creating, we're first creating the, the kingdom of God is within you. It's within your physical vessel first. And because we have gained that strength within the, the, the structure that the Most High is creating through us, through the, emperor, the empresses, and the emperors, the structure that the Most High is creating through us is one that cannot come down. It's one that cannot be disrupted. But see, they, they created their structure on wickedness, greed, materialism, dark magic, cursing the chosen, okay? Sacrificing people. Now they, are, they have sacrificed themselves. They had crowns on their heads and they're falling head first with those false crowns. They thought they had royalty. They thought they had really built something that was going to last, okay? They thought that they had built their tower so high that even the most high God couldn't touch them. They thought that they had they they put it, they placed themselves so high on a pedestal that they began to call themselves the most high God. But now he came in to show them who's 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 what. All I gotta do is strike some lightning over your asses and it's over with. How can you be so foolish? But it's only because they had to be crazy. Schizophrenia. They had to be crazy to actually believe that they could actually stand higher than the most high God. They had to be crazy. They had to be off balance some kind of way. You know, if you look at this picture closely, I'm trying to gain. There it is. You know, this person, you know, they was trying to hold on. But see, they was up there so high, they was starting to lose oxygen because they ain't had no business being up there. You building this tower all the way up here, this tower of Babel to try to confuse the world. But you never confused the Most High God. And because the Most High God said, okay, I'm going to give you some time. I'm going to let you keep on building your little tower. You think you're doing something to my children, but you're not doing anything. You're just strengthening them. You're just reawakening them. You're putting that pressure on them. You're doing that CPR by putting all that pressure on that chest because now the 144,000 have awakened. And I'm not telling you to be afraid of the 144,000. You better fear the Most High God. But you better fear what the Most High God is doing today through the, through the vessels of the, of the 144,000. 
it's over with for these people, okay? They made a very foolish decision. This card came out in reverse. Every single thing, all of that manipulation that they have continued or that they have done in the past is now working against them because they're now fighting up against one another. They, they jump too fast, see? They jump too fast. They jump too fast. They jump head first. And now everything is slowing down for them, okay? Everything is slowing down for them. We're now receiving our blessings. We're sitting on our throne. We know who we are. We know who we are. So let me just pull a couple of more, and I'm going to close out because I feel like the message that needed to come through for these people has come through, okay? They're watching. I know y'all are watching, okay? And I'm glad you're watching because this message is for all of you who have chosen the dark side as well as those of you who are the chosen and the children of the Most High God because it's time. The trumpet has now sounded. You need to know the truth, okay? This is the energy of someone who is watching, okay? They're watching. They're lurking, okay? They're lurking. They're lurking. But see, now they're mentally off-balanced. Now they're emotionally thrown off. <clears throat> they don't know what to do. Okay? They're in this wave of trying to figure it out. Trying to come up with a plan. But it's not going to work. Did you not just see that the tower has come down? And so you might as well go ahead and allow yourself to live out those lessons. Let it go. Okay? Allow yourself to heal. Find your inner balance. Heal yourself, okay? Purify your vessel. Let it go. Let go of materialism. Stop trying to hold back people's inheritance. Stop trying to hold back people from moving towards their divine path because you have no control. You had a false sense of security, and now that security is no longer there for you. You have to release everything that you tried to take, everything that you tried to hold back from the chosen seed. You now have to give it back, okay? And there's nothing that they can do about it. You see what I'm saying? They're going to try to make offers towards you, chosen, 144,000. These people are going to try to come back. They're going to try to make little petty offers towards you because they see that now the Most High has set you on your high horse, as they like to call it. The Most High has placed you on your throne. He's given, he's placed you to give you your victory in front of your enemies. They, and you see all of those people back there? They now have to watch from the sidelines as you are crowned victorious as you are now crowned successful because you have done the work you, a lot of offers are going to be getting rejected these family members who was operating in darkness who was really trying to sacrifice you who was really sending dark magic your way who was really doing things against you from the time of your childhood these people are coming back and they're going to make false apologies they're going to make offers because now they're hoping that they can be that they can um, shine in your light with you but no, you cannot. Your karma is here. Your karma means that you have to deal with all of those knives that you placed in the back of the chosen ones. You now have to deal with it. It's your turn now, okay? And I don't know how many, how many life cycles the Most High is going to send you through these things, but just get prepared and start to humble down now. Start to give reverence to the Most High now while you have a chance, okay? Because, see, it's getting ready to be real lonely, okay? We're talking about mental illness. We're talking about, you know, th this, this whole entire structure is going down. All of those past lives, we're talking about isolation. The same way you tried to isolate the chosen seed and make them think that they wasn't a part of the so-called kingdom. Nobody wanted to be a part of that false kingdom anyway because you see what's happening to it. The tower is coming down. So everybody that was a part of that kingdom that thought they had a sense of uh, security or that thought they had a position of uh, authority, they're coming down with that tower. So I give thanks to the Most High God that I, that, I did, that I wasn't desperate enough to have people in my life that I was willing to join into darkness in order to become a part of a false and wicked structure that's now coming down. You have to pay for what you have done. And it's time for you to face it. It's time for you to deal with it. Deal with it, okay? So... Let me just pull a couple of more cards from this deck, and I'm going to close out. I think the message has spoken for itself, okay? I'm here to encourage you all to continue to move in your purpose, continue to rise in your divinity, because we are phoenix rising from the ashes, okay? They tried to bury us, but they didn't know that we were seeds. They didn't know that we was chosen seeds on top of that, okay? Good health is here. They wanted to go against your health, but see, we got good health coming out here. Yes, this, that's what I just said, blocked efforts. They wanted to go against your health. Their efforts to try to make you sick and to make you ill is being blocked.
because the most high has blessed us with a spiritual team that never sleeps okay and these people that it's so sad it's so sad that they did not understand they understood working with demons but they didn't understand that holy angels and the ancestors of love and light actually exist and and they didn't understand that light actually outweighs darkness how can you not understand that concept in the spiritual realm when you can clearly see it in the physical? You have a dark room. You put one candle in a dark room and it's damn near going to illuminate the entire room to where you can see at least, you know, to the, for the most part. So imagine the light of the most high God in the spiritual realm. How can you assume that your darkness and that your wicked ways was actually going to overpower and, and, and outdo the light of the most high God? You had to be asleep. You had to be a walking zombie. But now it's time for you to awaken because y'all waking up, y'all, the, the wicked ones, they see it just like we see it. Okay, slander. They tried to slander our names, okay? They tried to say all types of things about us, okay? Because, see, what they was doing was they was projecting what was actually happening within them. What they was hiding and suppressing, all of those things that they was doing in secret, the dark magic, the spell work, and all of these things that they was doing, they wanted to try to project it out there to be, to say that you was the one that was doing it. You was the one that was wicked. You was the one that was promiscuous or that was, uh, you know, doing things underhanded for money. They said all types of things, but they also said these things about Christ right they slandered christ and said all types of things about christ and so understand because we are the body all right because we are christ consciousness they was they did the same thing to us but see the most high said i'm doing a new thing and in the age of the in the age of revelations in the age of uh the awakening in the age of aquarius yeah christ has returned he's returned through us christ consciousness the true body and there's nothing that they can do about it they can't stop this they can't stop this, okay? These people cannot be trusted, but you see it says here they lose. They lose, okay? The battle has already been won. The Most High has already fought off these demons. He didn't have to do much. All he had to do was just pick them up and fling them over, okay? Destruction just like that. Just like that. You see what I'm saying? But it's over with for these people. It's over with. Financial victory is here for the chosen, okay? I told y'all we are receiving the harvest of the seeds that we have planted. Financial victory is here. We don't have to be codependent on anyone. We've, the Most High is blessing us with this financial victory. Now you got miserable people. And it also says at the bottom of the deck, never look back. Don't look back because these people are miserable because they have to watch you be elevated before them at this time. They have to watch you, okay, have your good health, have your divine partnerships in your life, okay, because the veil has been lifted from your eyes. You see things clearly now and because you're now healing, okay? And so if you, if any of you dealt with any health issues, if you had loved ones that's close to you that dealt with health issues, know that healing is happening right now because, again, their efforts was blocked. It was unsuccessful attempts that they tried to make towards you. And now they have to deal with that. If, if they was doing spell work to try to make you ill, if they was doing spell work to try to take away from your finances, if they was doing spell work to try to cause mental illness or confusion or to cause divisions within your love partnerships or to cause, you know, um, anything that they did in darkness, they have to now deal with what they put out there. And they know the magnitude of what they was doing, but they don't understand the magnitude of what it's going to do to them. They don't understand how it's going to affect them. They know the passion and the bitterness and, and the, uh, the hatred that they put into that, trying to do that work and paying other people, to uh, practitioners against you, to try to cause setbacks for you and to sacrifice you. They know the magnitude of hatred that they put into that thing, but they don't understand the boomerang effect of how, of how powerfully, how strongly that thing is getting ready to come back to them, but they will very soon. I believe they're starting to understand it now, and this is why they're working against each other, because they know that now there is no more success for them. There is no more success for them. Why? Because you have been set free. We have been set free, and because karmic debt is being returned to them. The boomerang effect is here, okay? And it's getting ready to hit their asses because they lose, baby. They lose, and this says punishment. This says punishment. They're being punished, okay? Just like little children, the Most High is now giving their little behinds a spanking that they're going to remember for generations to come, okay? 
for lives, you know, generations to come. If the Most High allows them to come back and do it again, okay, you still got to take that ass whooping a few more lifetimes because they did this. This curse was over us for generations. Generational curses. This is what these people did as they incarnated. Each generation, they came in as karmic family members, lovers, and friends, and, and uh, governmental structures to try to break down and to tear down and to put asleep and to sacrifice the chosen. And so now, because we have broken those generational curses, they now have to deal with it. This says this is the truth, okay? That's what I got for y'all. I love you. And um, if you desire to have a private reading from me, you can always email me. Um, and also, I do appreciate every last one of you who have sent me donations. And every last one of you who have um, given me words of encouragement, okay? And have told me how much my purpose has um, helped you and has empowered you. Um, and so I love you all and I will talk to you all next time.